first of all, it helps you verify information, but it helps you make new findings as well. And it helps you get that sort of situational awareness of what things look like around a specific event to give us an overview of the situation so that then we can use that and translate into that storytelling for audiences that might not have access to those tools or those techniques as well. I think when you're using these specific techniques and tools, it's quite useful because you're not only telling people, but you're also showing people. So you're able to show audiences the facts. And it's kind of like me giving you a cake, but also giving you the recipe and the ingredients as well. If I was to give you a story and say, hey, here's what we've got, but also to give you the tools that are publicly available to you so that you can follow this up and make the same findings or even find different findings, that's really important because as investigative journalists, when we're holding those responsible to account, transparency about our findings and our sources is so crucial so that those can be challenged and the story can remain strong and the facts can remain strong. I think the best platforms and tools are the ones that are first and foremost free. So we've got Google Earth, for example, that's very easy to use. It allows us to track things over time as well as use past imagery. And then we've also got things like Sentinel Hub, which is a little bit more niche, but it's great for environmental changes, having a look at much larger land changes as well, structure changes, fires and things like that. And it has more coverage as well. So it's over three to five days of coverage and revisit time. And that's super useful for journalists and super easy to access as well. Well, I think these tools have really changed the way we look at things like war reporting, for example, right? So once upon a time, it would have to be the fact that we'd visit on the ground and we would have a look at, uh, uh, through the eyes of, of reporters, how that would actually be filmed and how that would be reported. Whereas now we're able to do a little bit more remote sensing and remote observation with satellite imagery, as well as verifying facts. We don't just have to hop on the phone and call up people and say, hey, where was this filmed? When was it filmed? What are we seeing? But we can cross-reference that with satellite imagery and pick out new details. And that allows us to independently prove things. So when there's states promoting specific narratives, we can cross-reference that with what we're able to identify with independent facts and really use those to strengthen our stories, facts, and, and help that with the audiences.